And greetings traders out there in trader land. My name's Des here at Grok Trade and it's Wednesday, June 15th, 2011 and the market's come crashing down, down, down 1.5%. The S&P down 1.75% NASDAQ, the same to the south and the Russells down 1.8%. Oh, it's a bloodbath. Dow down 180 points. We have the banks down 1.2 or 1.12 percent. VIX spiking to uh, highest level that we've seen in a long time, up 16.8 percent, up past 21 on the VIX. Gold and silver up. U.S. dollar spiking up 1.6 percent. Crude oil down a whopping 4 percent. That is huge. Anyway, we have the trend up, a reading at 2.14%. Grok graduates, pay special attention to that for tomorrow's action. And here we are looking at the S&P daily game. We had some manufacturing data that came out today that was sobering. And then we had the Fed coming out and saying that, that we're seeing a decrease or a slowdown in the economic recovery. CPI also come out today and showing um, a increase. So right here, but it was the slowest increase that we've seen in the last six months, I believe is what it, uh, don't hold me to that, it's something. So still increasing, but not quite as much. Here we are looking at the S&P daily. We had this big pop yesterday and then boom, right back down. I was worried about this. I was sharing with you that we had this pop However, don't read into it. I mean, the volume was mediocre and we're down below all major moving averages. And the question was, how how many days or sessions might we get before a pullback? Because after all, we got our big leg heading down. We're looking for a little bit of a pop here. But just one day could not bring the bulls back. Bears are just far too strong. We did drop here. It would not surprise me to see a rally tomorrow. And there's what you're getting red, white, red, doji, white, red, and tomorrow probably an, a white one coming in. But we have a major support area, gang, right where the 200 day moving average is coming in. Also, this is a huge area. If we do drop tomorrow, I see 1260 acting as support and definitely around. 1255 to 1256 a lot of uh, support right here and if we were to get below 1250 that would be really bad so right now we remain inside this big symmetrical triangle we are coiling we're now below the moving averages we do stay decisively below the zero line on the histogram macd and, and and we are pulling back to a support area so anything can happen here just be ready for the turbulence it's not going to get any more uh the sailing is going to continue to be uh volatile in these waters so you have to learn to navigate them one of the best things to do is hedge yourself I go to teachmetohedge.com. Check that out for yourself. But you need to be able to hedge yourself. Teachmetohedge.com. Take care. Very safe trading to you. And know this. If you are flat the market, meaning that you are out of the markets completely, I applaud you. It is very hard for amateur traders to know when not to trade. So it is better to be out of the markets than forcing trades in the markets. Always remember that. Take care. Until next time. Catch you in the morning.